With back to school season in session, you never know what you could find in somebody's backpack. For example, protein powder. You know what? They could also have blue corn and flaxseed tortilla chips. Or a full on Dyson vacuum. Or they could also have a teddy bear. You know what? For all we know, they could have a full on guitar. But I'm here to show you all what's in my backpack. Hey guys and girls and everyone in between, it's Ashna and welcome or welcome back. I feel like we shouldn't waste any more time with the introduction, so here's my backpack. It's a Jansport, just the classic design with two pockets, a main big one and a small one. I have a couple of keychains here, just my little gold A for my name and a hand sanitizer. Okay, so let's open this baby up. So first, I want to start out with the big pocket. As you can see, I have some pretty cool stuff in it. Um, but the first thing I actually want to just begin with is this little pouch that says Want Les Essentiels on it. And as you can guess, it's my Essentials Emergency Kit. So now, pulling all these items out, we have my deodorants from Tom's. I love it. We also have four band-aids for any little boo-boos that happen. Um, I have some feminine products and a face mask for the emergency time I forget one. And I also have lip balm and hand cream in these little cute travel sizes. And finally I have my lock and a hair elastic. So this is my little essentials kit. I will reach for these items in case of emergency or if anything happens I am set for a lot of different scenarios I think with this kit also I just really love this pouch I'm sorry it's just too cute for me okay so the next thing I'm gonna pull out is my pencil case so this is a two-in-one what's in my bag what's in my pencil case all together in this video I love this pencil case for its size my cousin also made it for me which just adds that little personal touch which I love but mostly it just fits exactly what I need to fit so let's open this guy up Okay, so in my pencil case, I have an Apple calculator. Very, very legit here. We got some scissors, the Tombow Fudenosuke soft tip and hard tip brush pens. I also have four zebra mild liners because I'm taking four courses this semester. So I have a purple one, a teal one, a blue one, and this coral pink color. These are my favorites. Um, and then I have a super long 0.5 lead. I have a Muji pen. Uh, Pilot Super Grip 0.5 lead pencil, um, an off-brand gel pen that I love, and a Zebra Sarasa clip gel pen that's also amazing, and a Stadler eraser. So this is like my holy grail. I don't want to be carrying a ridiculous amount of stationery around, so I feel like this is just perfect for me this year, but if I need any adjustments, those adjustments will obviously happen. Okay, so... Now moving on with our bag, we have this black binder, but we can't have it, no cover, let's get going on that. So I printed this composition notebook pattern, and the theme for this binder cover was actually inspired by Amanda Rachelis' August bullet journal setup, which was inspired by Olivia Rodrigo's Sour album. First thing I have to do is cut off these edges, so here is your ASMR. There it was! Did you like it? I mean, I don't have a good mic and it was filmed outside, but I hope it was a little bit satisfying for you today. Anyways, um, now you can see me here cutting three pieces of paper. So one is a composition pattern, and then there's this black strip here, which is going to be for like the spine of this imaginary notebook that I'm creating. Um, again, all of this is inspired by the Amanda Rach Lee's August Bullet Journal setup but I thought this was just so much fun. And then I used a white piece of cardstock to write the label where it says this notebook belongs to, and obviously then I wrote my name, but I did write my name in like a bit of a funky font. So if you know Sour the album, you know that a lot of the times the lettering is almost like it's been cut out of a newspaper 
each letter individually and it's like each letter is like a little bit of a different size and font so I kind of tried to um, emulate that with my lettering here as you can see um, and then it was time for my favorite part of this entire cover which was adding stickers so an honorable mention is this tongue that literally reminds me so much of the sour album cover because you know she's sticking her tongue out it's in it's impeccable but Here's my stickering. I had such a blast. Enjoy. And just like that, I was done. The cover was complete. I am so, so happy with how it turns out. I feel like it looks so good on this black binder especially. Um, but it was just so much fun. And if you need an idea, here you go. So this is a binder. It's nothing too special, but I just thought I'd show you. Anyways, last thing in this big pocket that I want to show you all is my iPad. And I also took this book here just to represent me carrying a book in my bag because I always love having one. But I also tend to have digital ebooks too sometimes. But this They Both Die at the End book, highly recommend it. It's really good. Um, so I'm going to be mostly using my iPad as a note taking tool, but it's also going to probably carry all my digital files and books that I will need for school. So I'm super excited to try this out. I don't know, I might need to use classic note taking, but if I do, I have my binder and I have my pencil case, so we're all ready. Okay, so I actually lost a bit of footage, but I just wanted to show you all what's in the front pocket of my bag. And the first thing is this little pouch that's from India. I absolutely love it, it's so pretty. And inside I have the wire earbuds and a phone charger just in case so this is like my little tech goodies and I also have this little sleeve that contains my sunglasses just in case it's really hot and sunny outside so that was what's in my backpack for this 2021 school year I am getting so excited for school especially after filming this video and I hope you all are too but thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Stay kind, as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!